You're the number one American, and you're ranked where in the world? Tenth? Ah, uh, yeah, ten. Tenth in the world. Why are there nine other non-Americans ahead of you? Uh, that's have a good, slipped in that's the a good question. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, we have such a rich history. Obviously, you know, everyone growing up that you talk about tennis here in America, you think McEnroe, Sampras, Agassi, Kramer. Arthur Ashe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you have every so many greats that come through. You can't even name a courier. Um, Chang, uh, you can go, the list goes on and on and on, um, Connors. So, I, I don't know, I think we're very used to having, you know, a champion um, yeah. or someone that's competing to win a Grand Slam, you know, every, you know, all four weeks, you know, of the slams every year. So, um, as soon as we didn't really have that and there was, you know, a little dip in lull uh, for American tennis, you know, they, it seems like uh, they love to bring it up in the media and they love to, you know, talk about how we're slipping in the sport, but it's a tough sport. I mean, you know, you have guys like Roger and Rafa and Novak, um, these guys that have Murray dominated the sport for 10, 15 years. Um, and, you know, they just are, you know, kind of a... How many tournaments you play a year? I'm playing between 25 and 30, probably. A lot of doubles? I, yeah, I like to play when I can. No more at the slams. I think it's too much in the schedule um, at those at those events when you're playing three out of five sets, but... I love to play when I can. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.